Hello and welcome to our first Akrito tutorial. In this series, we'll be looking at the 3D Max interface. I'm using version 2009, uh, but this can be done using any of the other releases. Now, the first time you open this program, you probably notice that it looks a bit complicated. But once you get to know how it works and understand how to use it, uh, it's quite a simple program to use. So I'll be hopefully taking you from a beginner to a very advanced modeler, animator, or whatever you want to use this program for. Now the first thing I like to do is explain to you the different parts of the program and give a quick overview of what each section does. Now to start off, we've got the menu section on the top. So this is the default source for most commands, but creating something using just the menus could be time consuming. And uh, right below that, we've got a toolbar. Now this contains a lot of icon buttons that give us single access to a lot of functions on Macs. Now the toolbars are originally docked up here, but this can be moved to wherever you want to place it. For example, I'll click on the far left of the toolbar and drop it in the viewport section. And then I can drag it to the side. But since this is not part of our tutorial, I'll just return it where we found it. Now the main toolbar is the only toolbar that is visible when you first open up Studio Max. You can modify how it looks, how it works uh, at a later stage. And on the right side of the program, we've got the command panel, which is this section. It has six tabbed icons at the top and when clicked open various panels like so. Now each of the panels includes rollout, which contains settings and different parameters. These rollouts change depending on the object and tab that is selected. But we can explore more of how this works as we get on with the tutorials. Now in the middle, we've got what is known as the viewports, all these. And this gives us four separate views into the scene by showing the top, front, left, and perspective viewpoint. Now I'll show you how this works. Obviously we're not yet creating objects, but this is just for a quick demo. Now I'm gonna create a box starting from the top here. So as I'm creating it, you can already see it appear on the other parts including the perspective section. Now what we are viewing in here, for example, the top is what we have on, on this viewport. The front is what we have here. The left side is also what we've got here. Now you can change these views and uh, these, these viewports, however you like, by right clicking on the word going to views and then selecting what you want. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll leave everything how we found them. I'm going to now remove this box and continue the tutorial. And finally at the bottom of the screen, we've got the lower interface bar, which is mainly used for animation. There are other miscellaneous controls down here, such as the controls for the viewport section. For example, I'll click on zoom, you can zoom into any of the viewports. You can click on rotate, you can pan, but we'll explore more of these functions as we get into the creative parts. Thanks very much for tuning in today and I'll see you on the next lesson.